It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much. But don't you quit. Don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Hi everyone. Please do not mind my voice or any weird accent I have. Anyway, if you don't mind me, I'll say that my notes are quite pretty and aesthetic. But are they functional? Well, yes. Biology is one of my favourite subjects and also one of the subjects I do best in. So I think this video will be really helpful to those taking the subject. I used to draw my diagrams, but they are so ugly. <laughs> and sometimes it just, I just spend too much time and it didn't really look like the real thing. So I'm just pissed my diagrams right now. I screenshot these diagrams from my online notes, or I just find them online, and I collate them in Canva and print them out. After that, I just cut these diagrams before I get started with writing my notes. Just a side note, I saw this paper trimmer from Daiso on TikTok, and of course I had to get it. So I got it. <laughs> I wanted one of these since I was super duper young, and I am so happy when I got it. is mainly about anatomy, cells, etc. Things you need to visualize but can't really see with your bare eyes, I find diagrams really helpful. Plus, in my examinations at least, you need to recognize different parts of the body, plant, etc. and label them, so diagrams really help in this sense. So after cutting, you'll be left with very nice diagrams to paste. So finally, let's get started with writing our notes. The first thing you want to do is take your lesson notes, textbook, or any resources you have and use a pencil or a pen or whatever to go through it. Number one, read through your learning objectives. This is basically a summary of your notes and what you are expected to know during the exam. So we must make sure that your written notes include all of these points. Number two, break down the content. If you pay attention during bio class, your teacher teaches and talks about a lot of things, you likely would get a bunch of annotations on your lesson notes. Sometimes it gets to the extreme point where it becomes this, an unorganized pile of mess. So of course the first course of action is to break down the mess, group the mess or content and annotations into different subtopics. For example, over here this entire page of annotations is talking about action potential. Then we break it down further. This talks about resting potential, and this talks about the process of neurons firing. Within this part, we then have the different steps as to how the neuron fires. So another breakdown. So you do this for your entire lesson notes until you get a pile of other smaller subtopics. You can't really see it in the time lapse, but while I'm breaking down the content, I also number like the different subtopics. So I'm basically reorganizing my content into how I want to write it out so that I can see the different connections easier. After that, we are finally done with going through our lesson notes. So number three, grab your paper, notebook, iPad, laptop, or whatever you use when you're writing your notes. Then you can go ahead and write your pretty header <laughs> stating the topic. I'm just doing some calligraphy using a highlighter it makes my notes way more prettier, but of course, this is not necessary. Number four, copy out your notes. By copying, I mean freezing it such that you understand the information, summarizing the information, but still including details necessary for examinations. Sometimes I just copy a bunch of information with no effort to summarize it, because I know I need to memorize it word for word for exams. Other times, I completely rephrase it so that I can understand it best. It is up to you and you can do it to your own liking for these notes. And that's pretty much it. Write out your notes in the order you reorganized it and use the subtopics you pointed out. I personally used a mix of bullet points, number points, and very very long sentences. Stick your diagrams as you go, annotate your diagrams, and you'll be left with a very pretty and functional bio notes that you can take pictures and fill on. <laughs> I'm just going to insert a time-lapse of me writing my notes, 
but yes, you can use space by repetition and active recall techniques to enhance your revision for biology. So this is my end product. This is my bio notes for the nervous system, and I think it's not that bad. <laughs> Anyway, if you do take pictures of your notes, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and I'll share them too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!